Hi everybody, I'm here as promised to give you one skill of some type per day and also to remind you to vote for Tal Search and Rescue. The link is in my profile. It's linktree slash herbal medics and at the top of that there's a link that takes you to be able to vote for us for the Land Rover uh, Defender giveaway which Taos Search and Rescue is one of the five finalists for. Please go there and vote every day, one time per day, one email per day gets us an extra vote for that and we really could use it. Thank you. Now for the skill. Okay, the skill for today is ankle taping. This is a really high value skill that you can, it's one of those where I teach it almost as the first skill in every single wilderness first aid because it gives us so much returns for so quickly. What kinds of tapes can we use real quickly? Sports tape is great. Uh, Luco tape is a little on the thin side. If you can get something at least an inch and a half or two inches is great. Two inch for uh, adults, inch and a half works for small adults and pediatrics pretty well. We don't want anything that's got any flex to it. We don't want K-tape or, or Coban. Uh, Durapore type stuff, this is three inch, but uh, we, can, we can tear it down to two inch or even use three inch in some cases. Durapore is nice. It's not as strong as sports tape, but it'll work as well because it doesn't have any flex. K-tape, not really good for this. K-tape is great for some musculoskeletal stuff that we're doing, but not when it's weight bearing like the ankles. What we're taping here is the ankles, whether they've uh, been, been, it's been a sprain or a strain, or we have weak ankles, we're worried about rolling them, backpacking trips and so forth. It's, it's a really common injury, and so it's really good to know how to do that. Duct tape, oftentimes come, can comes up as a question, yes, we can use it. No, it's not very good for the skin, but yes, we can also do this particular technique on top of boots just to hold the ankle steady long enough to get to somewhere where we can pull the boot off, take a look at the injury and deal with it. All right, for this, we're gonna, we're moving pretty fast. So we're already assuming we've, we've inspected the ankle. We have done a circulation sensation motor test on it. We know that it's a sprain, may even be, it's possible it could be an avulsion fracture in there, but it's something that is going to, we're going to be able to tape to be able to help this person without causing them more pain and to give them stability that they need. I'm not gonna talk about an underlying kind of a base layer tapey that we can do under this, which would be a, a, something like a basket weave, but, uh, but we're just gonna talk about the most important part of this taping, which is a heel lock, so let me get into it. So with a heel lock, what we're gonna do is we are going to lock the heel on both sides here with our tape, with our non-flexible uh, tape in order to be able to keep this, almost like an exoskeleton, to keep this person from being able to hyperextend either an inversion or an eversion, both. Really, most sprains are going to be an inversion sprain, but we want to pretend, prevent them from hyperextending in either direction. The way we do the heel lock is we start up uh, about, about the top of, say, an athletic sock height, and we move our way around and down kind of like a, like a barber pole or like a candy cane, down around. Now, it's really important that they dorsiflex their foot while you're doing this. Let me move it over here. As we're coming around, what we do is we come up underneath the Achilles heel, the Achilles tendon here. Right? We come underneath the Achilles tendon and across that heel. And this is the crux. This is where the most important part of this is, is that while they're dorsiflexed, we pull this tape really, really tight, like tight enough almost to rip it, really tight, and then lay it down. This is nothing that's going to, we're not going to cut off any circulation here or any problem like that. This is the portion here, right there, that is, this is where the, this is where the, this is the money uh, maker of this particular uh, wrap is, where this particular taping is. And this keeps that heel from being able to invert now. And then I bring it around on this side and just bring it up. And of course we can continue that taping, but let's assume we're in a wilderness first aid situation. We don't have a lot of tape to spare, so we can just tear it right there and lay that down. Now we can do the same thing on the other direction. I'll do one more where we bring it down like so. Again, we're going to bring it down at kind of an angle like so. And we're going to bring it underneath the Achilles tendon here and across the heel. So we're bringing it across the heel while they're dorsiflexed. We're bringing it across that heel really, really tight. So I pull it tight and lay it down. Again, this is, this is where right across that heel, that's where we're going to really uh, make our money on this particular taping. Okay, then we bring it back up and we lay it down, we can tear it, and now we can do that two more times. We can do that more, one more time or even two more times on each side. And when we're done, we're gonna keep that, 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 that heel lock there is gonna keep this foot from being able to invert or evert at all. It's, it's almost like a cast when you do it right. As long as you have that really start sharp tension across the heel, that's where we really are able to make this into an effective taping that we can use in the field, 
Uh, I've used it with professional athletes even in races. It's amazing what you can get as an effect from this to be able to keep that heel from, from hyperextending at all. Okay, that was our skill of the day for today. Please go to the link in my bio, uh, the um, link tree slash herbal medics top of there is where we can go to the land rover defender page where they're doing the giveaway and please vote for t-star for taos search and rescue so that we can get the equipment that we need to be able to give back to the community thanks for watching i'll see you tomorrow